I thought it was great, and I really am impressed with the president. And he's right. If we don't do something about Saddam Hussein and those people over there who don't uh, treasure freedom like we do, if, if, when, it, when they do it, if we don't do anything about it, it's going to be too late. We're all going to be sorry. There was a lot about Iraq, and I know that's on people's minds, but, um, you know, we need to pay attention to the economy as well. So I was a little disappointed there wasn't a lot more about that. But frankly, with a fairly short shrift given to the economic plan and almost a throwaway on the dividend tax cut, very little detail about what he intends to do with Medicare, I don't think we're going to see much change in the public skepticism about his economic or health programs. The president has a much tougher sell, ironically now, I think, on his domestic program with a skeptical Congress and a public where his approval is much lower on those specifics than on him generally, than he does uh, with Iraq. Appreciate these members traveling with me. I was honored to speak in their chamber last night of America to focus on those who hurt. He's got a tough sledding ahead in convincing allies and uh, skeptics abroad to join with him in his policy towards Iraq. And we have, obviously, challenges ahead in a continuing war on terrorism. But if he can't get the domestic house in order and can't get, basically, Congress and both parties behind him on the international side, then uh, it's going to be a very tough year. First in the house. Is the president going to get what he wants out of the situation? I guarantee you that the minute the president makes the decision to move, uh, the coalition will immediately explode and be huge. Because nations, for the, for the very reason that nations will want to be there in, to, to be on good terms with whoever is uh, the government in the aftermath. Do you think the administration would be willing to have Saddam go into exile? I, I would imagine that if it's done under the right conditions, I, I would, they, they, they see that as an option. Is that something that was discussed at the meeting? Yeah, they, they presented that. You know, it, there's still possibilities out there to avoid going to war. The man who orchestrated the evil attack that killed some 3,000 innocent American men and women on September 11th. What the White House has done is to deflect attention away from our inability to neutralize the al-Qaeda leader and onto the dictator of Iraq. Frankly, this approach may be good politics, but it is not good public policy. The most serious threat facing the United States today is international terrorism, al-Qaeda and Osama bin Laden, not Iraq and not Saddam Hussein. Okay, shall we begin here with yes. my friends? Shall we begin?